What's going on guys? It's Mark here at Dino Trading coming at you with today's video recap and here we go again, right? Markets are going parabolic once again and all those idiots who got crushed trying to short the market last year are getting crushed again trying to short the market this year. Look folks, you can't stop a trend, okay? If you've been following my theory on trading the markets for a long time, then you get it, right? Trying to identify the starting point of a trend is really the only way to put the odds in your favor. Look, trading's hard enough as it is, right? There's a million garbage indicators like Bollinger Bands and Stochastics and all this other nonsense that you guys have been using for a while that just haven't worked. And so what I want you to consider in 2022, and keep in mind, guys, this has been another explosive week. We're only two weeks into the year, and the markets have gone nuts once again. Okay, In fact, let's just go ahead and get into it. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is a chart of the NASDAQ. If you trade Forex, your symbol is NAS100. If you trade futures, your symbol is NQ. And if you trade stocks, it's QQQ. And I really don't care what you trade, whether it's futures, Forex, stocks, options. It does not matter. I am convinced that the winning ticket right now is the NASDAQ. And why do I say that? Well, number one, you can trade the NAS on any platform. You can trade it on MT4, on Ninja, on TradeStation, Thinkorswim. You basically have almost an infinite number of ways that you can trade the NASDAQ regardless of your asset class, right? You trade Forex, you can trade the NASDAQ. You trade Futures, you can trade the NASDAQ, so on and so on. But more importantly, folks, the NASDAQ volatility right now is through the roof. Okay, you've heard me say this before, volatility should be a day trader's best friend. You have to run towards volatility, not be afraid of it, right? Because the only way, again, in my opinion, to find success trading any market, whether it's Forex, whether it's futures, whether it's stocks, okay, you have got to find a market that has wild swings, and if you've been looking at the NASDAQ just in the last two weeks, okay, we're only two weeks into the year, folks, all right? So I'm really only talking, what, seven or eight trading sessions, okay? The NASDAQ's been just on fire. Let me show you what I mean here. Let me show you the previous session, actually, all right? Look at this. Look at Monday's magnificent sell-off. Okay. By the way, guys, this green and red color band is our proprietary volume indicator. It does just a world-class job of identifying the starting points of trends. Okay, As you know, I'm a big believer in trend trading. I keep pounding my fist on the table to get all you serious traders out there engaged and interested and educated on the concept of trend trading. We don't mess with Bollinger Bands, we don't mess with Stochastics or RSI or any of these free garbage indicators, right? The only thing that I'm interested in knowing is, tell me when the trend has changed and then show me a way on how I can participate in that trend and squeeze every tick or pip that I can out of the market. Right, so this was Monday's move, guys, on the NASDAQ, okay? This was about 2,000 pips or ticks from the high to the low. Just think about that, 2,000 pips on a random Monday. And this is just the downtrend, right, where the volume indicator nails this huge sell-off. What about later in the day, ladies and gentlemen, right, where the volume indicator color band turned green, right around lunchtime and that was it we went right back to where we were before the drop right you can see that we were at 15.6 before the big plunge where the volume indicator nailed the sell-off and we come roaring right back to 15.6 when the volume indicator turns green. So look folks, I'm begging with you, I'm pleading with you, I'm imploring you, do something different in 2022. For all you guys that were trying all your nonsense strategies and indicators last year, trying to call tops, trying to call bottoms, okay, trying to trade support and resistance, which is just a complete pile of nonsense, okay? 
learn about trend trading. Educate yourself on the power of the trend. Uh, understand why the market only respects trend, right? The market doesn't respect support and resistance levels. The market doesn't respect your silly Bollinger Band, okay? The only thing that the market respects is volume because you have to have a certain amount of buyers to push the market up, meaning that the buyers overwhelm the sellers, or you have to have a certain amount of sellers to push the market down, right? And so in this case, the sellers now overwhelm the buyers. Make sense, folks? Look, this happens every freaking day, believe it or not, okay? There's wild swings in the NASDAQ that really don't take place in any other market. So if you want to sharpen your skills as a technical trader, I truly believe, and I'm convinced, all right, this is my opinion, I am convinced that you are going to absolutely fall in love with the NASDAQ. And look, man, could these markets sell off tomorrow, next month, couple months from now? Of course they could, right? But that's not up to you. And that's not up to me. As technical traders, we only have one job every single day, and that is to use volume to identify the potential starting points of big, fat trends in the market. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo, really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading. Guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next trade.